there's a positively charged sphere located between two parallel metal plates attached to a very light rope and it does make an angle theta okay to the vertical and our job is to you know figure out some information maybe the charge on this particle here based on the angle theta well, first of all let's take a look at our electric field again here so we have two metal plates this is a positive charge being attracted to this side so this plate would be negative and of course repelled by this side so our electric field again always goes positive to minus so we'll draw a little line to represent that, a little arrow to represent that. Okay, we need to look at the system one more time and get an understanding of what's happening with this angle here. So I will draw in my vector. Okay, this will be a component. This will be a component of the force tension. And this is our angle theta here. So there's a tension force in this rope or string caused by the pulling of this particle to the right. Now remember, it is a very light string, so we assume that there is no mass with it. And of course, let me draw arrow downwards here. So what's our force downwards always? Of course, it's force gravity. And the vector pointing up this way, the component of our force tension, then is going to be force tension y. But now, since our angle theta is located adjacent, we know that force tension y then, okay, must equal force tension times the cosine of the angle theta. Now, looking at these two, we know that it's uh, not moving anymore. It's suspended between these plates. We now know that these two would equal each other. So we're going to have force tension cosine of the angle theta is then going to equal mg which again is the force gravity pulling down on it dividing by cosine theta we now know that force tension is going to equal mg divided by the cosine of the angle theta okay so we do have a force pulling this direction of course because the electric field uh, that will also be effect in addition to the force tension y and force gravity so let's label that right there so i'm going to label the force electric going in this direction but what about the opposing force here well this vector here being force tension also has a component in this way which is force tension x i've drawn it above for reasonable clarity there that force tension x is going to be pointing in this direction here Okay, I'll attempt to draw that now. So this is going to be our force tension x. Now these two have to be equal to each other. Now remember, this force tension x is a component of the force tension in this direction. Well, the force tension x is the opposite side of the angle, so that would be the sine. So we know that force electric must equal force tension x. So let's go ahead and solve that. Force electric is then equal to mg divided by cosine of theta and then we'll multiply that okay by the sine of theta okay because force tension x is the opposite side so we know that'll be the sine of the angle theta and we see that we have sine over cosine so force electric is then going to equal mg times the tangent of the angle theta Okay, now what about this, uh, this force electric that's here? Okay, well, again, electric field is equal to force electric, okay, divided by charge. So solving for force electric, we have electric field multiplied by charge Q. And if I substitute that where I see force electric here, and I'll write it up here, we have electric field multiplied by charge is equal to mg tangent theta. Now what about this charge? That's the charge on this particle here that's in the electric field caused by the positive and negative plate. Solving for Q, Q is then equal to mg tangent of theta divided by the value of the electric field. 
And that's how we handle uh, charges suspended on a string between two metal plates.